Hi, I'm Code Cheyenne and welcome to my classroom. Today we'll be talking about how do you keep score in a scorecard as well as some of the terminology that gets used on the golf course, handicap, par, bogey, so we'll go into detail as to what all of that actually means. So let's start with the basic. How many holes do we have in the golf course? We have 18 holes, but some people like to play nine. Perfectly fine. Then in the, on the golf course, we have what we call par 72. And this is where people get confused. On average, each golf course is about 72. So if you come a little closer, we can actually show you what an scorecard looks like and what does that mean so if you look right here it says par and for 18 holes it says 72 okay so for nine holes it's 36 so what does that mean we have on the first hole over here so it says hole up here hole number one it says the par is four so in golf what it's telling you is you need to get the ball in in four shots Hole number two, five shots, four shots. And the fourth hole, you need to get it in three shots. So in golf, there is only four, five, and three. There's no seven, there's no six. So par always on each hole would be either one of these three numbers. So up here, we have the hole, the hole numbers. Let's say you've just had enough after nine holes. You're done, you don't wanna play anymore. You would just write the score in hole number nine, tally it up under this, and you would be off on your way. So, 18 holes, one through 18, and par on this golf course is 72. Sometimes you might find a golf course that has par 73, par 74. You just need to look at the scorecard in advance on their website, or when you receive it when you get to the golf course. Okay. So now you kind of understand what par means, and then we'll go into detail how you keep track of that. But a lot of people want to know, what is handicap? How do I figure out my handicap? What does that even mean? So let's explain handicap. Handicap is um, your score, okay? And, and how do you calculate that? Well, over here, a handicap is the average of your eight best scores out of 20. So you've played golf 20 times in a year and your best eight scores that you've received, they take that, they find the average and that is your handicap. Seems quite simple if you, if you failed math, don't worry. The computer actually does it for you. So all you would have to do is input your score in the computer or on the app and it would find the average for you and tell you your year end handicap is 20. 30, whatever that number looks like for you. So let's talk a little bit further because a lot of you are beginner golfers. So what I get asked this all the time, what is the maximum handicap a beginner golfer can receive? So a beginner golfer can receive 54. Now, where does this number come from? There is an organization, the World Handicap System that actually calculates and tells us that this is the maximum a beginner golfer can get and in 2020 they just changed it to the to worldwide it usually used to be like north america europe but now the whole world follows the same handicap system which is very helpful so maximum handicap so if you're going to play a charity tournament or just go see friends 54 is the maximum so if you actually divide 54 by 18 you get so what they've done is they have given you three extra strokes per hole that a beginner golfer um, is allowed to hit and get to create that 54 handicap. So let's go through this. So like we spoke, 72 is part of a golf course and each hole they've given us either four, five or three. So if you get it at what they've told you, you need to get it in like hole number one is a four. And if you get it in in four, that means you have gotten in exactly what they told you. So you didn't score extra points. You just exactly what they told you, you scored par. Now, let's say you played extremely well on the first hole and you got it in, in three shots. That means it's 
four, you were supposed to get it in, but you scored a three. So that's minus one. So they call that a birdie. If you played unbelievable and you got it in in two shots, so that's minus two. So they call that an eagle. And let's say the average golfer, um, you scored one more, you scored five instead of a four. That means you now scored a bogey. So there's another thing called double bogey, triple bogey, and you can imagine that just means two over par. So plus two, plus three would be triple bogey. So that's what this terminology means. So for example, on hole number one, um, I scored a five. So if I scored a five, that means I scored a bogey. So I would tell my partner, oh, so I would write my initial S G and let's pretend that I'm playing with Oprah Winfrey and let's pretend I'm playing with Tiger Woods. Okay. So I scored a five. Let's say Oprah, because she's new to golf, she scored a six and Tiger, because it's Tiger, let's say that he scored a three. So. Cheyenne scored a plus one on this hole, so she scored a bogey. Oprah scored a plus two on this hole, so she scored a double bogey. And Tiger Woods scored a minus one, so he scored a birdie. So this you will get used to the more and more you play golf. Now, let's go back to this question that I get asked a lot is, Okay, well, you know, in golf, you are going to have many holes where you just break down or it keeps going in the water. Or as you might have seen in the Masters, Tiger Woods got a 10 on a par three. So for average golfers like us, how do you max out on a hole? Let's say Oprah Winfrey's never played golf before, okay? And her handicap is max, which is 54, okay? So this, what this tells us is the par, which is four, plus two, which is six, right? And then Oprah, because her handicap is 54, she gets three extra strokes on each hole. So four plus two is six, plus three is nine. The maximum shots that she can swing and hit on the first hole is nine. Anything after that, she needs to quietly pick her ball up, and follow the rest of her team and go to the next hole. She cannot keep playing because that's just gonna slow everyone down. So if my handicap is 18, they've given me one extra stroke on each hole. So I have scored a four, par four, plus two would be six, and my extra one is seven. So if I, after seven, I need to pick my ball up as well, and then just go to the next hole with the group that I'm playing with. So that's what this means. This just helps people who are very new to the game not take forever to play a hole. Because if you've watched my previous um, episodes or my previous videos that I've done on pace of play, which means you need to keep up, I've also gone into a lot of detail um, on golf terms. Like what do the flags mean? I've actually gone into what is par, what, like, what does all of that mean into major detail on my previous video, which I will tag at the end of this one. So you can, after you finish watching this, you can click on golf terms explained, and then you can go ahead and watch that to get further knowledge on this. Okay. Back to this. If someone tells you that they got a snowman in golf, that means they just scored an eight. So that's what that is. And then bogey golfers, which I mentioned to you earlier, which is they are 18 handicap. So if you score a 72, once you add that all up, so 72 right here. So if I add all of my bogey golf up, 72 plus 18 equals 90. So if someone tells you, oh, I shot a 90 today that means that their handicap is probably 18 or they shot 18 over. So I hope that helps you in terms of the terminology that we've gone through. This one is probably the most important for beginner golfers to really kind of drill down. When you go out and you play with others on the golf course, they will always be very kind to explain. And if you don't know what a birdie or eagle means, just be like, oh, sorry, what did you get again? And they'll say four or five in numbers terms. But in terms of scorecards, let's just quickly look at this one over here. This particular golf course has two golf courses. So this is one side of it, which had already played called River Ridge. And the other side they've done it very elegantly 
is called Golden Marsh. So over here, up here, you would write the initials of the players you're playing with or their full name. Usually people, for easy terms, they just write their initials and then you would just keep writing the score that you receive on each hole and tally it up after nine and then you keep going tally it up after this back nine and then the full total number goes over here and i have a few other examples as well to kind of show you the different kinds of scorecards there are i love this one because it shows you where all the restrooms are as well as water fountains and food who doesn't love food and snacks so this is another kind of uh, scorecard. This one is really great as well because it shows you where hole one is, hole two is, and how you want to follow. So if you're new and don't know, this even gives you a map and they give you their golf rules and also black, gold, white, red tees. So it's always great to make sure you go a little bit early, like I always tell you, and read up on that. The last scorecard I would love to show you is one from England and... Um, some of you might know this golf course. Um, but over here, see how this one is horizontal? The only time I've ever come across scorecards vertical are in England. So over here, you just literally have to read what it says. You don't have to fill all of this out. We're not that technical. You would just say player A would end their initials like S, G, right? Oprah, Tiger. Michael Jordan, whoever you are playing with, and then you would write down their scores over here, just exactly like it is. See par, five, four, three, four, five, like that. They give you the yardage, they give you the whole numbers, and the biggest thing in golf is please avoid slow play at all times. This is really the number one etiquette and rule in golf is, doesn't matter how good or bad you are, always keep up with the group in front of you. And remember, I always tell you about pace of play. This golf course even tells you on hole one, 15 minutes, 30 minutes. By the fourth hole, it should be an hour. By the ninth hole, it should be two hours and 10 minutes. And they will make sure that you keep track. This is really helpful for beginner golfers so you know how long, uh, if you're, you know what, if you're taking too long, you should be hurrying up, speed your, speed your round up. So I just wanted to show you that. There are colors on tee boxes at each golf course. And this specific golf course, black, white, yellow, red. The forward tees that are the closest to the hole would be the red, and black are always usually in the back. Another example of a golf course, this one has black, blue, silver, white. And down here, they have made sure that they've written red down here. So you just have to read what it tells you and where you would write it. In this specific one, they've even broken it up for men and women and the different pars. Remember I told you that most golf courses are 72, but this specific golf course for women is 73. So at some point over here, oh, I can already tell you, this hole number 10 for men is a par four and for women is a par five. It's probably a long hole for women, 401 yards. And if you're playing from the whites, it's 408, 470 if you're playing from the blacks. So I really hope this helps you gain more confidence to keep score and not always pass it to the person that it's invited you to play. At some point, you will need to start doing it yourself. If you have any questions at all, always in the comments below, please let me know if you don't understand anything that I explained or if you have a question about something else. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video and all, as always, make sure to click the subscribe button and the like button if this video was helpful and I hope to see you in the next video. Have a great day.